Oh, see the pen just sneak into view there. Hello. Um, the weather. Oh, God, the weather today is terrible. It's the sort of weather that you can only speak about using swear words. It's raining and it's not stopping. So I'm going to draw a ray of sunshine. If I can work out where I'm starting, this is a drawing that I really should map out in pencil first, but I'm an idiot, so I'm not. Um, but I'm kind of mapping it out with the brush. Um, let's just see what happens. I mean, you'll if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see this is quite a different way of starting it for me. And it it is I'm surprising myself, to be honest. I don't normally start like this with the forehead <laughs> but it just feels right once I've got this forehead in position it should tell me where the rest of the drawing is going to be um how right I am, we'll see. <laughs> Could be terrible. Um, but, yeah, let's just see anyway. Uh, so, I said I'm drawing a ray of sunshine, but who exactly am I drawing then? Well, I'm drawing a face from my childhood. Um children's television presenter he's mainly known as although he is also a, an actor, singer etc um, and that is Derek Griffiths who I think most of us children of the 70s and 80s absolutely loved Derek Griffiths um, he's a name to make us smile um, he's got a face that made us smile and the personality that made us smile um, really it's uh, I think for a lot of us it's hard to really states how much we all loved Derek Griffiths. Um, he was, oh, he must have, he, he was one of the best for children's television. He was so good. Uh, and also one of the few black men on children's television as well, which... I feel well, well obviously it was important um, I wonder how important it was to children of all colours there were hardly I think there were two black kids at our school that was it so you know, we didn't really know any children of black heritage apart from those two kids. Um, it must have been difficult for them. I don't really remember any issues or anything in terms of racism and that. But... I wouldn't, would I? I was a white kid. Um, but I wonder if, how important it was seeing 
someone like Derek Griffiths on their own, you know, the, the children's TV stuff that they were watching. Um, must have been, must have had an impact. But he was, he was, he was loved by everybody. Still around, of course, acting and stuff. Um, so I've started this, this, I, I can see this drawing is possibly going to finish like here, or the photograph I'm drawing from finishes that I, hopefully I'll get it to the bottom of the page, but I'm not sure I'm going to, um, but there we go. So get the tash. So, um, Derek was mainly seen on play school. Um, I don't know if he ever did play away. I'm not sure with Brian Kant. Um, another legend of television. But yeah, play school was Derek's. Oh, and uh, the great thing, Heads and Tails. He sang the theme tune as well. That was um, that was great. The jazzy little tunes on that 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 he sang. Um, they were really good. Allegedly, Derek was well. He was in a a group of singers called is it the Swingle Singers? I think he may be on a Beatles. He may be on a Magical Mystery Tour album, on um, possibly Iron the Walrus. I think I'm not sure to get. Have to check. Someone, some Beatles heads out there will tell me. Um, but yeah, that was an unexpected. Uh, Sort of facts that came out in recent years. But yeah, Derek, I love it. I mean, his face was so expressive. Um, couldn't help but make you smile. Uh, now me being uh, a grown man, an old, old man, uh, I've no idea what kids watch. I don't have kids. Um, I, I wonder if they have the same sort of television heroes that 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 I had when I was a kid. Or maybe it's YouTube. I know kids do watch a lot of YouTube. Um, certainly my nieces do. Um, yeah, I wonder if they've got the same... same familiar, warm, friendly faces that... that we had. Not the same faces, you know, but... that feeling that there was someone you would put the TV on and... You'd be pleased to see them, as I was when Derek Griffiths was on. There were so many great kids presenters, but maybe because I was a kid and I was just loving, loving watching them. Gotta get this eye. I 
can hear the rain outside. And it, oh, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it really is. <clears throat> I've dropped to a whisper. So I'm concentrating. That was all the sort of, um, there's a lot of scat singing on uh, heads and tails. Derek was uh, singing. And Scatman! <laughs> oh, God, I can hear the rain's getting worse. Is it ever going to end? Really is grim out there. Most unpleasant. Kind of weather that starts getting you down. Um, also, kind of weather that reveals your kitchen windows leaking. <laughs> Which is kind of why I've retreated upstairs, so I don't have to look at it. It's not really bad, but it needs sorting. We've got um, <coughs> there's a cloth soaking soaking the water up. Um, it'll be fine for a good while yet, in terms of before I need to change cloths. Nurse, change the cloth. Um, but yeah, it was no fun discovering that earlier on. It's just like, oh God, no. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> well, there you go. Huge sideburns that Derek got. Huge. They're great. Sculptural. Derek's hair is very sculptural. Um, marvellous afro hair. Which was one, one of his kind of trademarks is his hairstyle. A lot of the kids the presenters had great hair as well, and big hair. It being the coming from the seventies, really, I suppose. Johnny Ball had big hair. Fred Harris. There were times where he almost had a big Afro hairstyle as well. Obviously, it wasn't Afro. Um, but yeah, Fred Harris was another good one. I liked Fred. He was good. And Johnny Ball, as I mentioned, Johnny Ball was great. Um, these shows were great because they taught you stuff. You were learning some great stuff. I think Kids TV still does have a strong educational element to it. I know, I'm sure the BBC stuff does. It's kind of part of their remit. Um, just going to do that there. Probably right. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm trying to concentrate on this it is quite um, there's a lot to get right and a lot to get get wrong. So these little marks here. On his chin, chins are often slightly dimpled and cratered and they're a bit odd, uh, but they help get the dimensions right. There's a line coming down here, but I don't want to do it in this thick brush pen, but I have to do some of it. 
It's about there. That's enough. That's enough. And then there's another line that kind of goes round and up there. Again, don't want to go all the way with that. That's probably right. And then there's some shadow here. Here's his neck. And there we go, that's about right. So then this, like that. Now I'm just going to get to the edge of the page. That's good. This is collar kind of going up there. Yep. Just paint this in. And there, of course, it's going to be wet, and I'm going to have to try and work around it so it dries. <coughs> There we go. Um, so let's just stay on this side for a bit. There we are. Got your woolly jumper on. Yeah, that's looking good. And so. Like that, about that. Um, yep. Here we go. It's looking good. Now it's her. I'm going to go all the way in with black. Now, of course, in the photograph, it's not just flat black. The still light and shade in it. Um, quite complex light and shade. Um... I may add some in with a Tipex pen, but I'm not sure yet. It'll probably look really good just in a flat black, so it may stay. Uh, but I'll may well work into the edges with a thinner pen to just add um, a slight. Uh, fuzzy, frizzy sort of look. Because his hair is not plastic. It's not got a perfect uh, flat edge. Really need to start using a, a brush and some ink for these bigger spaces. Um, but it just takes some. Um, well, not necessarily take longer to dry actually, but it could buckle the paper because there's not not prepared the paper to take them. Um, you know, a lot of wet ink. Obviously, this is wet, but you know what I mean. And again, it takes, uh, takes ages to do this. Um, feel free to potter while, while this is on. If you might be watching this, I'm browsing your phone. What do you do when you watch these videos? What are you doing? If, if anyone's watching the full ones, are you just sitting on the couch like at the end of the day, knackered or half drunk or what? Um, as uh, I often do when I'm praising YouTube. <laughs> uh, 
Um, nothing wrong with that. Right, I think it's time for the smaller pen. So, here we are. It's Unipin point two pen if anyone's interested. Uh, but you know, loads of pens are available. Just pick your favourite. Um, so we have some shading there. Just start. Let's get going. Don't want to spend too much time on the eyes. They're basically there, basically done. Um, but they do need some shading, just a little bit. down here there's a lot of shape here I have to make sure I get right about right more or less Who was your favourite kids TV presenter then? You must have one. I think everyone did. Two or three, probably. Uh, God, I even like Noel Edmonds on Swap Shop. Uh, <laughs> uh, let us know in the uh, comments who your favourite was. Be interested to see. You may not, you know, you you may not be British. I seem to be assuming that you're a British viewer. Um, be interested. Um, 
see what it was like for um, people in other countries and uh, what kids TV was like was did you ha was it the s similar to um, British TV where there were definite presenters to shows um, I suppose there was things like um, Sesame Street as well weren't there uh, which we had as well Sesame Street was great this hatching's a little bit that was a bit risky that hatching there uh, fortunately it worked but I wasn't sure what I was doing with it <laughs> decided to follow the shape of his face uh, it can sometimes go wrong and look a bit weird uh, but it didn't seem to be right. I think it may have stopped raining. I hope it has. A lot of shade. I mentioned the line kind of goes up like so need some sort of a uh, more shared up here and along there actually that you know the lines in the forehead have got troughs and they're like little valleys they're not just um flat lines drawn on so you need to give them some more dimension, hinting at depth. Need to, if you want to, you don't have to. <laughs> it's up to you. You know what I mean, though. That's what I'm doing. There we are. And and just there, just little hairy bits. Right, do I do the frizz on the hair? I think I should do. It doesn't need to be much. Can even do this with uh, my right hand be slightly more uncontrolled which is probably better 
this is very small detail that may not even show up on camera um, but it shows up on the drawing uh, it's not stopped raining by the way I can hear it again <laughs> oh dear me woe is me in this wet old day not even Derek Griffiths is uh, managing to to light it up for me well he is a bit I mean look at him how could you not smile at that <laughs> now I said I could go into that with um, white tipex um, but I'm not going to because I'm not used to using the tipex pen that I've got it's this here um, it's just um, it seems to be very fat you need a really fine line if I'm going to be doing the hairs on his head. And uh, you can't do it with that Tipex pen. Um, so that means Derek is done. There he is. The lovely, wonderful, effervescent Derek Griffiths. Um, go and get your pens. Go and draw him yourself. Cheers. <laughs>